This is 60-year-old Jeffrey Kelly. He's the man police say was planning a mass casualty event, hoarding dangerous weapons in his garage. As of this morning, they had counted that in his home they found over 120 guns, over 250,000 rounds of ammunition. Some of the guns were loaded. He had a machine gun in his car when he was arrested. He is also accused of shooting up a Democratic office in Tempe three separate times and placing razor blades and a strange substance behind offensive political signs. This person was preparing to commit an act of mass casualty with the guns he had and that his progression of violence was escalating. Nobody needs that many guns. Nobody needs that much ammunition. He obviously had a reason for what he was doing. Not sure what it was. And um, I'm sure he was willing to hurt whoever he was going to hurt. While some neighbors are shocked to learn of Kelly's arrest, police say it was actually a silent witness tip that led officers to the suspect. This is proof that community involvement and engagement helps make our city a safer place. Tonight, Tempe Police Chief Kenneth McCoy says with 13 days left until Election Day, the department is on high alert for any political threats or acts of political violence. This individual was stopped before he could cause greater harm to the community. We are monitoring intelligence and working closely with our public safety partners to keep you safe. Officials saying they take these crimes very seriously and will prosecute someone who commits political threats to the fullest extent of the law. This individual was stopped before he could cause greater harm to the community. These actions create fear and they weaken the trust in our elections and frankly they weaken our system of democracy. Now, I did ask Tempe Police Chief Kenneth McCoy if they know what that white powder substance labeled guess the poison is and if it was in fact a biohazard. Now, he tells me investigators are still in the process of testing it and Kelly could get additional charges depending on what that substance is. Reporting in the studio tonight, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Face.